hello this guide will explain how to read values from the memory address using Autoid script we are going to use a game called fly for fun as an example we will read the values from the memory address that is constantly changing each time we restart the game this means we will need to find the address and the pointer with cheat engine first and then we will use this pointer information in the Autoid script to write the program that will press F1 each time we lose HP the server is by the way private server it is not protected by the game guard before we start you need to know two things first is how to find the actual memory address then the second is how to find the pointer you're going to ask what is the pointer well for example we have found a memory address of our current HP because we want to press F1 each time our HP is below our maximum HP so we, we find the memory address very nice now let's close the game and open the game again we look at the same memory address what do we see we see nothing because it will not work because the memory address has changed so how do we find this HP value again this is why where the pointers come in I hope I didn't confuse you too much in any case open the cheat engine and from the process list we select NEOS open and we're going to search for exact value 4 bytes and we're gonna search search for our HP 1 3 five zero six first scan there we go we found two values let's change our HP and search again let's search for changed value and there we go this is our HP double click this to add this into the okay we have found our memory address now let's find the pointer right click the address find out what writes to this address do we wish to attach the debugger yes this is the debugger window but it is not capturing anything because first we need to change our HP so the debugger can capture what is writing to this address and the debugger found what is writing to this address let's double click this extra information window pops out let's look at this number here and scroll down and find find this number here and copy this number we can stop the debugger but do not close the debugger yet now new scan and let's search for hex and paste paste this number first scan holy holy moly we have found a lot of memory addresses let's just pick some address and see what's going to happen we see that this address looks like not changing let's try this one add address manually we're going to actually add a pointer so address of this pointer is what is the address of this pointer address of this pointer is this one o o b d 5 e 9 4 and what is the offset remember I told you not to close the debugger window now we need this debugger window pay attention here the offset of this pointer is this 
0000740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740740
your maximum HP value is this value. I actually tried to search for this value, but I was not able to find find the value. So, but this is not big deal because you can fill in this manually. So now you create a function. Now you will create a script, or you can actually use the same script, but you will write this write it like this. Instead of this graphic user interface, you don't really need this, but for the sake of the example, I will keep it here. You will do some little change, for example, if our current maximum HP is if our variable this is smaller than our maximum HP, 1, 3, five zero six ten send f one f one and now you simply run the script again and it will work but it will try to press the send f one key very very fast if you want to slower things down, then you should do this. You should add a sleep. Sleep, for example, one second. 100 milliseconds is 1000 milliseconds is one second. And end if. If you will run the script now, and our value we read from our memory address, if this value is smaller than our HP, maximum then the script will press f1 button but our f1 button must have then the potions or food so it is as simple as this